All right, Mac OS 26.3 Beta 1 just landed, and this is one of those builds where the real story is what quietly changed and what quietly broke. This is build 25D5087F, released December 15th, 2025. In this video, we're keeping it tight. Only what's new in 26.3, plus the practical checklist, bugs, performance, heat, battery, storage, benchmarks, and security. And one quick warning, Beta 1 cycles are often more plumbing than fireworks. Early coverage suggests Apple hasn't made it obvious yet what the headline changes are. Let's start with the stuff you feel immediately. Download size. On a typical over-the-air beta update, the download is showing around 3.22 gigabytes in software update. If you're doing a full restore image, an Apple Silicon DFU restore, the IPSW is much larger, around 18.79 gigabytes. And this wasn't a solo drop. Apple also released a wider wave of 26.3 betas across other platforms on the same day, alongside macOS 26.3 Beta 1. Build number is straightforward, 25D587F. Now about the modem update. On iPhone builds, you'd look for a baseband update. On Mac, there's no cellular modem firmware like that. What you track instead is system firmware. Apple Silicon firmware gets updated with the build. And on Intel T2 Macs, you may also see a BridgeOS firmware update. So for macOS betas, system firmware and BridgeOS are the closest equivalent to a modem update. Here's where macOS 26.3 Beta 1 stands right now. So far, the early coverage is saying the same thing. There aren't any obvious big user-facing changes that jump out immediately, and testers are still digging through the system to see what actually moved. The community change logs are telling a similar story. No confirmed headline features yet, which usually points to a build that's mainly about fixes and under-the-hood work at this stage. So what's new and verifiable today? First, this is a fresh new build line, and it comes with updated system-level firmware on Apple Silicon. Second, there's a restore image available for Apple Silicon through the usual developer download route with mirrored IPSW listings as well. And third, for most people, the install method is the standard beta flow, delivered as a Delta update through system settings, not a separate standalone installer. If Apple publishes clearer notes, or if Beta 2 brings visible UI changes, that's when this new features section usually starts to grow fast. Since confirmed new features are still thin, the beta reality check is simple. Bugs. Here are a few issues that are being tracked publicly right now. The volume indicator spacing can look off in full screen. Alarms may not play after the display has been asleep for a long time. The dictionary toolbar blur effect can be missing while scrolling. And wallpaper quality may look worse when you use your own photos. Some of these problems didn't start in 26.3. But if you're updating hoping they're fixed, you'll want to test them right away. And as for bug fixes, so far, there isn't a clean public list of fixed in 26.3 Beta 1 items like we usually get with final releases. Performance on Beta 1 builds can look strange in the first hour. Right after the update, spotlight indexing and background tasks usually kick in hard. There are early reports of higher GPU activity after installing this beta. One tester saw GPU usage sitting around 25 to 35 percent, compared to roughly 0 to 20 percent on the previous build, and then it calmed down later. So here's the takeaway. Don't judge the build in the first 30 to 60 minutes. If the UI feels heavier, open Activity Monitor and look for spotlight-related processes, window server, or anything that's hammering the GPU. Now heat. Heat follows workload. If GPU or indexing spikes, heat spikes too. If your Mac feels warmer than usual, give it time to finish those background tasks after the install. And again, watch GPU load and system processes first, because early reports suggest GPU activity can be higher right after updating. Battery on Beta 1 is usually a two-step experience. Right after the install, it tends to drain a little faster than 26.2 mostly because the system is busy in the background, rebuilding and indexing. But once everything settles, battery life looks roughly in line with 26.2. No dramatic change, just that slightly heavier drain at the start. And battery health, your capacity, doesn't change because of the update itself. 
the main thing to watch is heat. Extra warmth and extra cycles during a beta week can add wear if you push the machine hard. Now storage, the sneaky tax. The Delta Update download is roughly 3.22 gigabytes, and if you're grabbing the Restore IPSW, it's around 18.79 gigabytes. Also remember, macOS updates need extra temporary free space during installation, so if your disk is almost full, you'll feel it immediately. Apple is famously quiet about security during betas. Their security pages typically publish details for released updates, and Apple says it doesn't discuss or confirm security issues until fixes are available. And in the macOS beta context, it's also been noted that Apple doesn't disclose security information for beta versions. So for 26.3 beta 1, assume security changes are happening. But don't expect a full CVE breakdown until a public release or later in the cycle. And that's macOS 26.3 beta 1 in a nutshell. A new build line, firmware movement, early GPU behavior reports, and a bug watch list, but no confirmed headline features yet. If you installed 25D5087F and you found an actual new feature, not just it feels snappier, drop it in the comments. That's how the real changelog gets written.